Hi everyone, uh, I begin a new lecture series um, guessing uh, with this uh, video. Um, the guessing, you know, although it seems like a simple mathematical problem, we can find many applications in our daily lives. Uh, particularly, you might be familiar with cryptography, the guessing the, you know, secret keys. Um, as we shall touch upon some of its applications in this lecture, but, uh, but you know, I'll planning on dedicating whole another class for applications as it transcended uh, beyond engineering nowadays. Uh, today's focus would be more on information theory relations and definitions of measurability of guessing and some of the fundamental tools um, to use in this context. And I'll have to point out this new video series is a bit more advanced, um, so it might require some background. Um, particularly, the main requirement is to have basic understanding of information theory. Uh, of course, since basic probability is prerequisite for information theory, I will also, will also have to reuse some more probability background in order to support our information theory background. So one of the key references in this area is the Thomas Covers book entitled as Elements of Information Theory, which I strongly recommend uh, to take a look. Uh, however, you know, by that matter, any introductory book on information theory, I think, would serve the same purpose. All right, so anyways, let us sort out some of these background on a slide. Um, as you might guess, we shall start with the basic Shannon entropy definition for a given discrete random variable x, which is defined on a set x. Um, and Shannon's entropy is denoted by hp in our lectures um, and is given by the formula uh, where pi, p sub i, is the probability of i element in set x, um, and the total formula is just minus the sum of all these pi's log pi's, okay? It's pretty, you know, cultural, it's part of, you know, everywhere, and Shannon, in fact, his, himself has also um, borrowed these ideas, um, some of them are from uh, the name itself, from, from the physics. Um, entropy is a measure of uncertainty and randomness that a source X uh, possess. Um, so that's that, and we also have to review what a guessing is um, in order for this to, 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 in order to explain what guessing is. Suppose uh, we have a finite support, um, you know, this set X is, it has its finite support, and someone chooses an element symbol of, the, of, of this, from this set, and it, he wants you to guess it. So. And then uh, there are many implications of guesses, guessing exist, by the way, but there are many possible criteria for guessability. In other words, how, we, how can we measure uh, whether something is guessable or not? And we will consider one of the particular um, guessability measure called guesswork. Um, in more technical terms, it's the expected number of guesses required to get the right answer. Okay, um, and and the main idea behind all these lecture series is that uh, to, to answer the following fundamental fundamental question: Is there a nice relationship between entropy and guesswork? All right. So although we'll dedicate an entire lecture for various applications of guesswork and guessing in general, let us give one of the most obvious uh, applications whereby guessing is actively being used, um, which is guessing as applied to cryptography. As we all know that in any communication scenario, messages are encrypted for any potential eavesdropper. Such encryption allows only two parties to share information and no one else. In a typical encryption process, um, you know, we, we require a specially designed algorithm. It is a very smartly designed algorithm, in fact, in the key. Um, so the scenario is quite simple, um, that communicating node choose keys and the unintended parties guess what these keys might be. Um, so the, one of the fundamental questions here is how do we guess? Um, do we have a strategy or does, do we have an optimal strategy or a suboptimal uh, strategy? It turns out that yes, uh, you know, the answer yes to, the, to, to this question. Um, there are two types of uh, attacks, for example, in, 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 uh, in such a scenario. The brute force, which is trying to, you know, all these symbol possibilities uh, with no specific order. Um, the dictionary attacks, on the other hand, uh, sim are, are choosing symbols which are deemed more probable. Um, so these are more, you know, guests first, uh, primarily, and then the, the, the later symbols are guessed. Um, so in the guesswork, optimal dictionary attack is achieved when symbols are guessed in decreasing order of probability, which can clearly be proved um, by the mechanisms and tools we introduce in these lecture series. Um, but let me just also point out one more thing about this and then quit this uh, slide. Uh, 
Um, pseudo random numbers, for example, can be subject to dictionary line and like attacks um, if seeded badly because this would generate a biased distribution of keys and therefore the guessing number would be smaller you know, compared to a uniform distribution case. Suppose symbols are ordered so that i symbol in this new ordered set happens with probability p sub i and guessed in the i round with this uh, cardinality of this, this set being equal to om. We have this uh, probability vector from p1 to pm and the sum of these probabilities must sum to 1 and uh, it must be 1 with, uh, with the following relationship. p1 is greater than or equal to p2 greater than or equal to. This is all, or also called monotone uh, distribution. Um, then in that case, the guessing number, um, which turns out to be minimum, by the way, because the quickest, quickest way to guess a symbol is to first guess the most likely value and then proceed uh, towards the least like, late likely values. Um, uh, this is known as the optimal guessing strategy, and we usually use this strategy to minimize the guessing number. So the guessing number is given by the GP, that's our uh, uh, notation, uh, the sum of all i multiplied by pi's, okay? And, and it's also not very hard to show that if the distribution is uniform, this gp is going to be m plus 1 over 2. So from cryptography perspective, can we measure how big a key distribution is by calculating its entropy, right? That's a good and a valid question. This question is quite conventionally asked to be able to measure whether guessing, you know, keys is a, a worth it effort based on the parameters of the system. And, and the same question trans can be transformed to more math-like one, okay? Can we bound GP, for example, in terms of entropy HP? So the first main attempt has been made by Massey in 1994. What he has shown in a short note that a lower bound can be given on a standard guesswork in terms of entropy, but no practical upper bound exists, which truly is a good news for crypto analysts. His methodology was based on the geometric distribution, which maximizes the entropy for a fixed expected value. Uh, in case there's no constraint, and we all know that it's uh, the uniform distribution maximizes the entropy. Um, so what is good about geometric distribution is that it's monotone and suitable as is for an optimal guessing strategy. Um, so we can actually express these PIs now in terms of GPs, the, the guessing number, um, and as is, is was the case with, the, with, his, with his work. Um, and it follows that for an arbitrary monotone distribution with mean GP and entropy uh, HP greater than or equal to 2 uh, bits, uh, we have the following uh, nice uh, lower bound for, for GP. Um, as it also turns out that if the distribution of X is, is geometric, uh, a nice upper bound can also be found. Um, although such an upper bound characterization does not work for um, other input distributions, it is pretty useful for seeing the following conclusion, that the lower bound that we have found in the previous slide is quite tight within a factor of uh, 4 over e, um, if we use geometric distribution, of course. Um, but for genetic distributions, as I said before, there is no meaningful upper bound. Um, and he also uh, you know, explicitly provides a counterexample for that claim, for a, for a constant positive beta. Um, and, and as you can see, that um, the probabilities are dependent on n, um, on the left hand side and accordingly as n tends to large values the entropy tends to zero and however it's not hard to show that the guessing number uh, would tend to some positive fixed constant okay so it's a constant guessing number whereas the entropy goes to zero so there is there is clearly there's no um, you know explicit upper bound in terms of entropy exists for the guessing number Okay, so far uh, we've considered guessing a simple uh, single random variable. However, in real applications, there are a series of them. And consider, for example, guessing a word of length n, which can be the case in attacking a system, for example, with a carefully chosen key, uh, or predicting the next word in a sentence, for instance. Um, however, for simplicity, let us assume that each symbol in the word is distributed independently and identically. Uh, since now we are now thinking in terms of words, not single symbols, it's customary to remember uh, asymptotic equal, uh, equal partition property, AEP uh, property, according to which the typical set contains uh, 2 to the n HP sequences, each with equal likely probability. Okay, that's, there's a uniform assumption with, associated with the AEP. Um, sequences of length n and each happens with the same probability to the minus nhp in that case 
Um, so the guessing number would be given by the following equation, HNP, uh, 2 to the NHP plus 1 over 2, okay, because, because of the uniformity. Um, uh, using Massey's result, it's not really hard to show the following ratio, the GP, the guessing number, divided by H1P, okay, because we have got only single symbol, uh, is going to be greater than or equal to 2 to 2 over T, 2 over E, um, and, and in fact, you know, as the... Uh, as we know that as the distribution becomes more like geometric, um, then this, this bound here, lower bound, can be um, achieved. Okay, so let us consider uh, multiple guesses, but a specific example where we, in which we uh, consider binary sequence. So let's ponder about a simple case uh, where all these symbols can take on two possible values in 0 and 1 with probabilities p and 1 minus p respectively. So it's, it's a Bernoulli source. Uh, in other words, any symbol um, you know happens with certain probability that we call p. Um, so we'd like to guess all uh, you know of, uh, all the entire words or so all bits. Um, and, and 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 if p uh, this p probability of having zero is between zero and zero point five, then for any k um, between zero and one, we have p to the k one minus p raised to the power n minus k is a non-increasing order. Okay, so in other words, the guess the sequence guess order the, you know, according to the best guessing strategy, uh, the following uh, uh, n bit words uh, are going to be optimal. Uh, the, all ones uh, comes first, and then guessing all ones but one zero cases, and then all ones that, um, two zero cases will generate probabilities in a monotonically decree non increasing order. And therefore, if we guess these binary streams, um, n-bit uh, binary stream uh, with these streams, uh, you know, starting with all one, uh, would be the best guessing strategy. Uh, therefore, we'd like to note finally that same color sequences have the same probability of being chosen. Uh, therefore, the guessing number then is going to be given by the following equation, where we sum over um, the probabilities of seeing k zeros in a given n-bit sequence. Uh, and multiplied or weighted by a function fkn, with the, where this function fkn can be can composes of uh, composed of uh, two different uh, parts or terms. Um, this is the average. This fkn is the average total number of attempts for finding an n-bit sequence when there are k zeros. For this particular case, fkn can be expressed in a closed form, and is given by below that uh, there are two terms and last term is the total number of n bit sequences with k minus 1 or uh, or or less zeros okay this is the um, not the last one but the, the left term um, so there are try these are try with no lock um, because we couldn't find it um, the term on the right hand side um, on the other hand is due to uh, each color sequence in the, in the previous slide were equal likely hence it characterizes how many guesses needed on average to find the right n bit sequence with k um, zeros. Okay? So since um, the HNP, um, the, the definition of the previous uh, uh, definition of HNP increases exponentially as n goes to infinity, uh, it is logical to consider the following asymptotics, uh, which is the average number of extra guesswork bits per symbol in the n symbol word, uh, given by limit as n goes to infinity, 1 over n log. Uh, GNP, the guessing number for the uh, wor the n bit words. So, using the guessing number, we have found for Bernoulli source for multiple symbol guesses as n tends to infinity in terms of when we consider asymptotics. It's not hard to show the guessing number to be of the following form: GNP equals p uh, square root of p plus one minus p square root, um, and the, the sum of them is raised to the power two to the n. Um, so, in fact, it turns, out, it turns out that this result can be generalized to non-binary sources as an express in the next equation, uh, whereby the term on the right is known as the Rainier's entropy of order 2. Um, so, in general, Rainier's entropy of order alpha is given by, for any alpha that is not equal to 1 and a positive alpha, of course, we're talking about, is given by the following equation, alpha over 1 minus alpha log, the sum of all these probabilities raised to the power alpha, and the whole thing is raised to the power 1 over alpha. 
Um, so this would be quite useful when we consider moments of guessing other than the expected value. But it's a nice way, way of uh, seeing that the Arrhenius entropy now um, can be used to bound uh, the guessing number or, in term, or, or from a symptotic perspective it can be used to find as the word size goes to infinity um, the guessing number can be characterized in terms of uh, you know Rennie's entropy. Okay so in our future lectures we will consider uh, start looking at moments of guessing and guesswork um, we will basically refine some of the bounds and uh, we will improve the lower and upper bounds uh, given in terms of Rainey's entropy. Um, and then we will touch upon some of the extensions of the standard guesswork, um, which is which are, for example, guessing multiple symbols at, well, it, at once. Uh, we, we can also make guessing subject to a distortion. Uh, so we're not exactly finding you know one specific symbol, one specific uh, word, but uh, some, some, some word or some symbol close to it. Um, and guessing for dependent sources, right? We always assume that independent identical distributed sources, uh, but sometimes it might be uh, useful to, to consider dependent sources, in particular Markovian chains, um, Markovian sources. Um, and uh, recently we also introduced cost of guessing. You know, when you're making a guess, um, you know, the different guesses they have different costs. And um, so we'll basically also talk about that. Um, and finally, a dedicated lecture to various applications of guessing. For instance, key selections in cryptography, there are numerous ways of applying this guessing to cryptography or, or system anal 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 analysis or reliability analysis of a system. So there are many, many areas of application um, in there. Um, we can also apply guessing to strategize uh, the chance game um, and, in, and in general to game theoretic uh, uh, approaches uh, can use guessing. Um, we can also recently recognize that uh, the data repair process in distributed uh, data storage systems, uh, a guessing might be a good way of, uh, you know, characterizing the system and analyze uh, the future uh, reliability of the system. And there are many, many more to come, by the way, as we, uh, you know, deep dive into uh, the idea of guessing uh, in our next lectures. And thank you very much for uh, listening our lecture.